Hello, family. What's up? Uh, my name is Theris Pickett. I am uh, from up, Atlanta, you, Georgia. What's up, you, Close to the mic. Okay. Can you hear me? Yes. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. Theris Pickett. Theris. Yeah, Theris. Yes. I ain't had nothing to do with that. My mom and dad. This is actually a family name. Okay. You know, um, I have I have uncles, greater uncles, older than me with that name also. I'm named after my dad. I don't know the meaning of it. But we haven't been able to find it. Yeah, they have to. It was given to me. But on the flip side, this is my second time around to Africa. My first time. My first time here. I got my I got my African name, my Akan name. Born on Saturday, Kwame. And I wear that well too. It fits. It fits. You know. So, but um. Oh, sorry. I ain't used to holding the microphone. Uh, first time I met Paul Monty in Atlanta, we were at a uh, Black Power kind of convention thing, you know. And he was telling he was telling his story, and I'm like, ah, that's the cat I talked to on the phone about the tour, you know. I I spoken with him previously, but I had never met him. So I went to this I went to this Black Power convention thing, you know. I mean, everybody was in there and had their hat on the, you know. Black and green. Yeah. <laughs> had to get up and speak, man. And, he, and I was like, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. you, kind of where I come from, people think you're crazy if you say, I'm going to Africa, I've never been there before, and I'm going to take a three country tour in 14 days. Do you know the looks I got from my family? For my friends, man, Negro, are you crazy? You know, and and then I thought about it, then I started getting cold feet, like, yeah, y'all got a point, man. I'm going all the way to Africa. I don't even know this dude. I met him one time, you know, all this is going through my head. But you know what? Um, when I when I met, when I called, the thing that attracted me when I called Bo Money, he was patient, he was straight to the point, he didn't beat around the bush on anything, you know, uh, a lot of times when you're dealing with people, you know, they, they don't come straight at you. They take the long way around and it's always the alternative, you know, alternative motives to get something. Yeah, 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 definitely, definitely. So, but when I started talking with him and, you know, he was sharing, we talked for like an hour and a half. I'm like, dang, you know, I wasn't expecting to talk that long, you know, because normally, you know, it's like, yeah, give me your money and I'll see you there. And then show up and like, yo, man, where my money at? Man? Yeah, you know, so, but he was very patient. Like I was saying, I trusted my life with this brother. We went to three countries that I only read about in history. And what I, which countries? Oh, uh, Ghana, Togo, and Benin. November 2017. It was, it was a, it, I'm sorry, excuse my name. It was a hell of a tour, for real. For a first time out. Yeah, because on, on, on paper, people like, can you pull this off? Man. And I was like, Let's, we're going to show folks. Look, you asked me, it went smooth. I mean, it was, it was smooth. Of course, of course you're going to have, you know, you, you're going to have things that don't work out all the time. That's life. You know, that's life. If, if you expect to move here and everything is just going to be butter, honey, this ain't the place for you. <laughs> you know? You, you're gonna have to roll your sleeves up, and, and that's what I that's what I plan on doing. I plan on rolling my sleeves. I'm 57 years old, so I spend a lot of time in the U.S. So why not? I have children; they want to come here. So it's up to me. It's, it's no longer about me. It's about my lineage behind me. My ancestors got me here in the first place. Um, I, like I said, I, I came up here the last time. But when I got done speaking, I asked Bo Money to take it down. And he took it down. Let me tell you why I asked him to take it down. 2014, I had my mother, my sister, and my daughter pass away. All in the same year. All in the same year. When my mom passed away, before she passed away, she said, boy, go to Africa. You've been wanting to do that forever. So I popped my ass to Africa for my mother. You know, so I had my... This is not about me. This is about my people, my family, you know, to bring them. Those that couldn't make it, those that don't want to make it, those that are too scared to get on the plane and go 17 hours to come see this. 
come to come home. So it's not about me at all. Don't get it twisted. I'm, I'm here to represent for all my folk, for all your folk, you know, that don't want to come or, you know, can't come. Because everybody can't. Them some nickels you got to put together, you know? <laughs> you, got to, you got to put together some, some dollars, man. <laughs> but it's well worth it. And it's my second time around. I'm, I'm a truck driver, you know? So that's what I do as, as you know, as a trade at home. So, but um, I hope to somehow, some way transform that into something over here. And it's not gonna be easy. And I may fail at it, but I'm gonna get back up and hey. keep going, yes. you know? Uh, the connections we're making with Bomani and who he's introducing us to, our diaspora from America, from wherever, to come back here, they're connections, man, that can last a lifetime, that can help, can help us, can guide us. But we have to be willing to, we have to be willing to, to open up and listen and take some direction, because I don't know everything. No one knows everything. If we're coming here, this, this continent's been here a long time. These people are old. Our people are old. They've Depressed. been here a long time. So they know some stuff we don't know. So we can't come here. I can't come here with the attitude of, you know, I'm American beating my chest. You know, got to come humble and learn and share. Like, like the young lady was saying, it's about love, man. You know, it's about love. It's about receiving and giving it back, you know? So, uh, this brother here, man, he, the, the vision he has, man, when we talked, I was like, dang, you know, that's that's what I want to do. You know, I want to I go, I want to build here, you know? I want my children to be able to come here and, and enjoy, and their children, you know? Our, our lineage has been broken. Yes. A long, they say 400 years of return. You, it's about a thousand years for real since We've been totally decimated by the Europeans, you know? So it's, it's been a long time. So why not come back home and try? It ain't gonna hurt, you know? We, 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 see, we survived, sorry. We, we survived, we survived slavery. We survived being pulled from our, our continent, our families and taken and beaten and raped. And we still here? Come home, man. That's all I got to say. Try it. That's it. Thank y'all. Thank you. Yes.